Good Hello. morning. Good morning. I, I know you're in good California. It's 9 a.m. here. Yes, it's good to see you. Um, so uh, first of all, I love the work that you do and the scope of the work that you do. And as a fellow scientist and technologist, um, let's let's get your thoughts on uh, dive in vaccines, healthcare systems. What's this is not the first or the last pandemic we're going to see. Uh, are we ready for this one? What do we need to do to be ready for this one and for the next one? Your thoughts, please. Uh, absolutely, we got caught off guard. The healthcare system um, is not ready, not prepared for these types of pandemics. Over the last 20 years, we've seen uh, that we, get, we have more epidemics and more pandemics, and we, we expect to have more. Uh, this is going to be, uh, it's not going to go away. In fact, it's going to get worse. And the reason for that is that we're such a connected world now. You know, outbreaks don't just stop in that rural village in Africa anymore. Uh, we got spared uh, when, when we, there was an Ebola outbreak in Congo several years ago. Uh, we got, uh, it actually cost us in the United States, hospitals in the United States, a half a million dollars per patient to treat them. And then when there was a MERS outbreak, uh, and when it got to South uh, Korea, and uh, the hospital sold there, it caught, I think it shut down the entire hospital. So it's very expensive to deal with these outbreaks and our, our healthcare system needs to be revamped to deal with these uh, pandemics. So we must invest more and it has to be prudent emergency planning. Um, and in the last session we heard about the shared economy, right? That occurred, there should be some sort of shared economy approach to dealing with these um, pandemics and the overflow of patients at that specific time. Emergency contracts in place to uh, ramp up production of equipment necessary for uh, to deal with these pandemics. And I would also say investing in understanding the immune system because yes. it, it um, this is something that I've seen uh, over and over and over. So many diseases stem from inflammation. Inflammation comes from your own immune system. So it's not just for infectious disease and dealing with pandemics. It's also for dealing with so many other diseases. And I it's think a shame you're, you're, that we don't. Your, your point is a great one. The, the human immune system is extraordinary uh, in its ability to fight viruses to disease and so forth. And uh, it, people need to need to really appreciate it more. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, the vac this virus and vaccines? Because one of the things we're learning is this virus is mutating very rapidly. And so we need to really have an agile uh, vaccine system capability, much like influenza. And this virus is not going to be here and gone. It's here to stay as part of the sort of the viral ecosystem. Yes. Yeah, so some of the biggest breakthroughs breakthroughs that we've had that impact our lives and our healthcare have always come from serendipitous discoveries. For example, gene editing today, um, or, or I should say, for, uh, take for example, um, yeah, gene editing, it came from studying bacteria and it's really gonna unlock um, finally the, the potential of genetic engineering. Mm -hmm. um, so that's important to invest in in basic understanding of nature and how things work because it's the biggest source of inspiration for um, tackling problems, I believe. Um, the other areas to, uh, the immune system, as you said, is, is very important to understand. I mean, the last two years ago, the Nobel Prize was awarded immunotherapy, right? So the biggest hope currently for treating cancer is using your own immune system. And it yes. really works in a broader way. So understanding nature, helps us then in part solve these problems. So I would, I want to say that we, we as humans are sort of in our investment strategies are stuck in the middle ages almost because we think defense, defense, defense. Well, why don't we start thinking of investing in the healthcare system and understanding life around us uh, in that same manner? Because it, the, the, the economic progress that we uh, will benefit from far outweighs, you know, anything else. And also it's, it, we're realizing today it's our security as well. It's not just so 
defense has changed almost, and you have to think of healthcare as you know um, as important, if not more, than than defense. So I want to say, let's be generous in our investment uh, as much as we are in in uh, in security, because healthcare is the, is the new security. Ida, thank you so much for your time uh, here in California this morning and uh, in Riyadh this evening. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame I have to cut everybody off so quickly, but thank you uh, for, for joining us today. Um, with, My pleasure. With that, thank you.